Hello, this is Dr. Renee Tucker. In this video, we are going to talk about two checkups, the shoulder and the accessory carpal bone checkup. Uh, okay, so in the previous video, you just saw me do the shoulder checkup. You saw a before really stuck shoulder, and then you saw it fixed and it nice and flowing and moving through a full range of motion. Essentially, that's how you do the shoulder checkup. But let me tell you a couple of things that you need to remember. One is the leg has that you're holding up has got to be relaxed. Uh, some horses want to lean on you. Some horses don't understand why is she just holding my leg like that? She's not cleaning my foot. Just give them some time, you know, and hold that leg up until it's relaxed. Be careful not to pull up too high, especially you tall people, because I'm not a tall people. Yeah, I'm a short people. So anyways, don't pull up too high on the knee because that will, you know, contract the knee and then you get a lot of tightening through the whole leg and that will mess up your checkup. I don't typically bend the knee more than 90 degrees. And just kind of let the leg hang there and relax. Then you want to put your hand on the shoulder and push back. Now, the second thing to keep in mind is you got to be careful where you put your hand. Take a look at this diagram of the shoulder and see where there is that blue circle. That is where the shoulder joint is. You do not want to push directly on the shoulder joint because you're just effectively jamming that joint rather than asking it to move. So you want to put your hand a couple inches above where that joint is. Now you may be thinking, that's great, but my horse doesn't have a blue circle. So just go on out to the, when you check your horse, feel for the very point of the shoulder. It's the most forward point on the shoulder as facing the horse and then go up like two, two inches, two to three inches, depending on the size of your horse and err on the side of going too high. Okay. So find the point of the shoulder, go up a couple inches. You'll be cool. But keep that in mind because you may be fooled to thinking there's a problem with your horse's shoulder when there isn't if your horse, if your hand is in the wrong spot. Okay. Now regarding the shoulder checkup, that's the major one. There are a couple more techniques that I talk about in the book, in the class, but don't worry about those. Okay. If you just do this one checkup, that's going to tell you what you need to know about the transfer points for the suspensory ligament. Okay. Now I do want to tell you a secret. Yes. About the shoulder. I have seen some horses that have um, non healing suspensories and what's actually going on with them is C7. Is a problem. What is C7, you wonder? It is the uh, seventh cervical vertebra. So cervical is the neck, but you can't feel C7 within the neck because it is hiding. It is hiding beneath the shoulder blade. So what happens if C7 is out of alignment is it, is it effectively moves over. Let's say it's moving over to the right, my right. Okay, so we're going to the right and, and it's under that shoulder blade and it's kind of pushing effectively that way. So the shoulder, instead of being normal and just going straight forward and straight back, it actually has to go a little bit out. And when it goes a little bit out, the horse is actually landing on the inside of its foot. So I've had horses that we fixed, you know, the shoulders, all these normal four transfer points, and then um, what you can do is just have somebody check or have you check from the class C7 because if it, anything is hanging up and still left like that, it's going to be C7. So that is what you need to know about the shoulder. Next, we're going to move on to the accessory carpal bone. Take a look at the accessory carpal bone in this diagram. First of all, the accessory carpal bone is such a long word. The carpus is the knee of the horse. It's very similar to our wrist, okay? Um, and then accessory just means something extra. So when we look at this diagram, we are seeing the knee of the horse and then on the back there is some extra bone. It's an accessory, that's why they called it that. It's kind of silly, but anyways. So to check the accessory carpal bone, you're gonna, again gonna pick up the horse's leg and it's gonna be nice and relaxed like we talked about for the shoulder. And then you feel the accessory carpal bone as we see in this picture. And then you're going to wiggle it. You heard right. Yes, you are going to wiggle it. Now, let me tell you what I'm talking about and hopefully I can show you an example here on me. Um, we have what's like an accessory carpal bone right here in our hand. We have a pisiform bone. 
Here's the diagram to show you right where that is if you're a diagram kind of person. But meanwhile, here it is right in our hand. And it, you know, it, as our wrist moves, it moves a little bit back and forth. Now, if I extend my wrist and, and pick up this little pisiform bone, try to hold my arm still, uh, then it's not moving much. I can feel a little movement, but it's not moving much. But if you let it relax, okay, so I want you guys to do this on your own hand, okay, so let it relax and then pick up that pisiform bone. You'll feel it's a little round guy. And then hopefully you can see this. Yeah, so you can see I'm actually moving this bone. What is that? Maybe a quarter inch. And you can move it in, you know, all kind of directions. It's sort of like, you know, a clock face. Just a little round bone in there. Moves, moves pretty good. So that's, that's the wiggle that we're talking about. If this wiggle was jammed up on me, I'd be looking at some kind of carpal tunnel problem. Um, and then in your horse, you want to make sure that accessory carpal bone wiggles just like this piezoform wiggles. Seems a little crazy and simple, huh? But it's fun and you'll like it. So go ahead. What you're going to do again, just one more time in summary, is pick up the leg, make sure it's relaxed, find that piezoform bone. Well, that was a trick, wasn't it? Find the accessory carpal bone in the horse and wiggle it just a little bit. Now, these are pretty straightforward, kind of simple checkups. Why are they not done all the time? One, because people don't know about them. And two, the difficulty is really not in doing them, but in knowing if you're doing them right. How are you going to know that? Now, okay, obviously, yes, you can join my online class, but I'm really not trying to super sell you on that. If you're interested, great. If not, that's cool. But what you can also do is check a lot of horses. Just go down the aisle way and say, hey, can I look at your horse's accessory copper bone? And they'll be like, huh, sure, whatever. And pick up that leg, find that accessory, wiggle it a little bit and see. Once you have felt several horses with a jammed up carpal bone and several horses with a jammed up shoulder and then you find some more horses that have a nice flowing shoulder and a nice wiggly accessory carpal bone then you will feel confident you will know it's working or it's not working it's very straightforward so i hope that made sense and i will see you guys on the next video for our last two transfer point checkups